And now our problem is to factorize x cubed minus 1. And we suspect that x minus 1 should be one of the factor. And our task is to find the remaining factor. In fact, we can break apart the problem and do it bit by bit. And as we can see, to make up the term x cubed, and we have already the term x here, we need a term x squared here, such that x times x squared give x cubed. And now, x times x cubed, x squared give x cubed. But however, since we have minus 1 here, minus 1 times x squared give minus x squared. And in fact, this term cannot be found in the original expression. So, we have to get rid of this. We have to remove this minus x squared. How can we do this? And the answer is simple. We simply make up another term of plus x squared. And we make it up by multiplying x by plus x here. Since x times plus x give plus x squared. So, this term plus x squared will cancel out the minus x squared term here. But however, minus 1 times plus x will produce another minus x term. Therefore, again, we we'll repeat the same procedure. We try to get rid of this, remove this minus x. We simply add a plus x term. So again, how can we do this? We simply multiply x by plus 1, such that x times plus 1 give a plus x term. Therefore, we have plus x here, such that it will remove the minus x term. And finally, minus 1 multiplied by plus 1, giving minus 1. And therefore, after cancelling out these middle terms, we arrive, and so after removing these middle terms, we arrive at our answer, which is x cubed minus 1. And therefore, we can realize that x cubed minus 1 can be factorized into x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And note that the last term, x squared plus x plus 1, it is very similar to a perfect square form. But in fact, it is not, because uh, we don't have the plus 2x term in the middle. 